Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Eike, this is Lola, and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts today with another unboxing. And for a change, it's not an Ever Moment and it's not a Diamond Art Club unboxing. <laughs> this is from a store called Peter Wren Official Store on AliExpress. Um, I've had this store on my list for quite a while, I always wanted to order from them, but put it off and put it off and put it off. And quite honestly, after I thought about stopping the test paintings, um, I emptied my cart and removed all the sellers I only had in there to purchase test paintings. But in one of my videos a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, or maybe three weeks ago, when did I order this? three weeks ago, um, one of my subscribers mentioned the store and asked if I had already purchased from them. And uh, I told her no, I always wanted to, but never did. So I decided why don't I do it now? Um, I mean, I'm not very keen on testing another bad square painting, but uh, let's see, order something very small. <laughs> I didn't order something very, very small, but small at least. So that's what I did. I ordered two paintings, as always, a round and a square from this store. I ordered them on June 5th, uh, 4th. They shipped on the 5th and they arrived today while I was shooting my Ever Moment final review video, um, which is the 25th. So exactly three weeks and three days. Yeah, no, three weeks, exactly three weeks. Oh God, math. Not feeling so well, guys. I think it's the heat that's frying my brain. We are at nearly 40 degrees Celsius here in Germany now, and I think that's something like 100 and um, Fahrenheit. I have no idea how to transfer Celsius to Fahrenheit, I'm sorry, in my brain. I can do inches, but not that. So, we have two canvases on their separate foam rollers, which is kind of nice because usually they tend to wrap it all around the same one. We have a bag of square drills. They're quite honestly on first glance, look very good. They do, they really do. I'm going to give you a glance so you see what I see. You know, the first thing I always look for are the little indents in the back. Not because the indents are the problem, they are not. But the drills with the indents are usually the ones that have the other issues that are actually a problem in the end. So people seem to confuse this a little. Oh, and we have a few, few loose drills, so I'm expecting a ripped back. So my square painting is this artsy tulip painting. I thought that it was incredibly pretty. And if the drills turn out as good as they look like right now, then I'm probably going to be very sad. I only ordered this as a 24 or 25 by 35. Um, and the round painting is this little cat with a goldfish. I'm in love with these cat paintings. The store has quite a few of them. And this is this is looking pretty good. I mean, round drills are not as issue laden as other as the square paintings, but there are issues with that one as well. Sadly enough, you won't be able to recognize the issues just by looking at the drills. Um, so let's unroll the canvas. This is the square one. And if we look at the back, I don't see any immediate problems. At least nothing that looks like a pucker, which is a good thing. Um, yeah. It's in one piece and of course it wants to rip right there in the middle. Not a fan of that paper. Don't do it. So let's put that down again. 
pull up the other end. So how are you doing in this heat if you have also reached the heat wave the first one of the summer? This temperatures are supposed to be coming from the Sahara Desert. Uh, yeah, feels like that. <laughs> But if it really comes from the desert, at least it's a dry heat and not a humid one. So, let's see, kitty, careful, putting painting on your paws. That's, it's looking pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty clear what it is. I mean, it's, it's an acrylic painting that was the basis for this, so it's not going to have super defined clear lines anyway. That's not what it's supposed to have, but the... The print is pretty clear. Um, I don't see anything that is absolutely illegible, un illegible, not legible. You know what I mean. Can't read. <laughs> um, the print gets a little bit fuzzy in this this section, but you can still absolutely read what the symbols are. They are letters, so they are pretty easy to distinguish. Um, the symbols are mostly easy. Yeah, nothing too funky in there. I'm not a big fan if they put um, this little... don't actually know how you would call this the symbol. It's, it's this blue here, this... It's not... It's a very skinny oval. No idea. And when they put that and the teardrop in the painting, the teardrop is in the pink there. Because sometimes when the print isn't too good, it's getting hard to get them distinguished. Also, they put the, the square right next to that. At least it's very different background colors. One is a pink, one is a purple, one is a blue. And the print is good. But if all factors come together, this can be the fuel of some diamond painting nightmares. As far as the glue goes, we are going to get a few bubbles. Can already see that. Can I show you what I see? Not sure. Not sure if it's going to show. But I can already see that it's going to lift here. It's still very shallow. It's not a real bubble yet, but it's going to become one. That seems to be the norm these days, and I don't know why. <laughs> so, let's do some inventory. I'm going to speed that up, of course, and I will let you know what I think of the square drills once this is done. Now, also, we haven't talked about how many colors? 36 colors, holy moly. colors are here and for one two three colors they gave me extra bags for this one here I should have gotten one bag they gave me three according to the inventory list I need 190 drills um, which is interesting I mean it's, it's nice that they give more drills than the number of bags on here because sometimes um, things are getting a bit close uh, but they, they are already pretty generous. I mean, for this color here, they gave me an extra bag that is 959. Um, the, it says I need 539, and they already calculated three bags, but gave me four. Um, this one here is even is even more. They, um, they said I needed 1,210, gave me seven bags. Um, 
said I need a, I was given seven bags, they actually gave me eight. So they gave me about 1,600. Pretty neat. All the drills in their bags look absolutely great. Um, there are none of these divot drills um, with the not uniform shape and stuff like that. You've heard it all before if you've been following my channel. So I'm kind of happy that in a short time I have now unboxed two paintings that are not Ever Moment or Diamond Art Club and don't have these issues. Or Tin Me Arts. Tin Me Arts also didn't have the issue. Shouldn't always forget them. <laughs> So this, this looks really good. I love the colors in this one. It's going to be very, very bright. I mean, I knew that that's why I ordered it, but it's it's glad, to, it's great to see that they give so many colors for such a small painting. That is very, very surprising. So I'm kinda, kinda looking forward to see how this turns out. It's very promising. Don't know what you think about it. Let me know down below. And I'll clean this up real quick and be back in a moment. And I am back with a not very clean table, but a mostly clean table. Just realized we didn't talk about the toolkit. Um, it's really nothing special. It's a white moss of a boat. It's a small piece of wax. It's, I think, three baggies, crappy plastic tweezers. No, kitty, you didn't come with a toolkit. You were a special order. <laughs> and the single place I pink pen. The toolkit is the same for both paintings. They don't differentiate between round and square. So, round painting. Time for kitty painting. Yes, kitty paintings are the best, I know. And my hand is full of fur. No, 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 don't eat the plastic, please. Ah. Yeah, purr, purr, purr. Don't know if you can hear it. So, unroll it and take a look at the... Ah, sorry, kitty. Didn't intend to hit you with that. Um, take a look at the back first. Once again, I see nothing that could be a pucker or anything else nasty like that. This one has 34 colors, even more surprising because the color palette is a lot more muted in this one. Can I maybe push you a little? <laughs> I can. Uh, so let's, uh, let's once again in one sheet. So we have to be a bit careful about pulling it up and not tearing it. And let's turn it up. Oh, I missed quite a few of these drills from the rip back. There was indeed one ripped back in the square painting. Um, that's the one you saw me sh tape shut in the end. If you saw it, I don't know how much you see when I speed it up as much as I do. So let's put that back again. And pull that back up and drape it carefully over my little co-host. <laughs> I didn't mean go away. Hold still would have been just as fine. So as, as quite often with round paintings, you can't see all the details just in the schematics here. Um, why are you eating my pen? This is a 30 by 40 and I hope it's going to I need that one, kitty. I hope it's going to be big enough to show the details, but I didn't want to go bigger on my first try. Um, should we maybe? Because we always, or I always forget about it. Measure. Don't want to put it on the stick. 
Yep, it's 30. Yeah, I know, dumb human, always forgetting important stuff. It's 30 and it is 40. It's very precise in the measuring. Put that back down so it doesn't come up. The print is, I would say it's okay. It's not as clear as the square, but that's always the case. I've learned now that the that the round printing is always a bit more hit and miss. <laughs> and I reveal cat. <laughs> um, but I can read most of it. I'm not super happy with this part here, the ampersand and whatever whatever that red symbol is, but it is hopefully unique enough that it won't give me a headache. Um, yeah, at least I'm kind of certain that the symbols and the circles are printed small enough that the drills will cover them completely. I guess that's a plus, could be a bit more could be a bit more clear in my book. Uh, can I move your butt just a little bit? I need a little bit of table to get this cover paper down somewhat straight. So let's do some inventory on this one as well. I'm going to speed that up one as that one up as well. Jesus. <laughs> Be back in a moment. here three things I noticed for the round painting they let you do the math they don't give you a number of bags so you have to calculate yourself if the number of bags you get correspond with the quantities of drills you need so I usually go with 200 per bag and hope for the best I have one color which is the 3350 which according to this list needs 700, uh, you can't see that, 792. And they gave me four bags, which I calculate with 800 drills. I could be right, I could be wrong. I've had bags with less than 200. I've had bags with way more than 200. That really depends on how much the machine puts in there. So this is a bit of a gamble. It's also not a very common color. I have no idea if I have this in my stash in case I run out. Um, Third thing, this number here on the back was pretty much gone. Um, you can still read the four, you can probably make out the seven. The three at the beginning is nearly completely off. I have no idea about the three in the back because it's actually covered by the sticker. But the thing I noticed and which I found very nice is if they have a bag like that, it seems they put a sticker on it and write the number on it again, which is nice. Um, other things I noticed in both paintings, the dark drills have dark print on them. That's not the easiest. Other than that, everything looks good. I haven't noticed any oily drills or anything else that looks out of order. But like I said, it's a bit harder to say with, with round drills anyway. From just looking at them in the back. Um, so far, I am pretty happy with that. Hi. <laughs> I am pretty happy with this um, order. It looks good. Uh, I, I hope for the best. Let's hope there isn't going to be too much post-unbagging bubbling going on. 
I'm going to put the cover paper on both of them down once more on both my ruler to to avoid any kind of uh, air bubbles between the glue and the and the, the adhesive and the cover paper. And then they are going to go under the mattress. But if they are going to bubble, they are going to bubble. That's not going to avoid that. So that's it for this unboxing, guys. Everything, as always, is linked down below. If you liked what you saw, maybe give us a thumbs up or leave a comment down below, we always love that. Um, as I've mentioned in all my videos so far, I have an Instagram account where I post nearly daily update pictures of anything I work on. The handle is in the description down below and you can of course also write me an email, always possible. Um, email address down below. So pretty much everything down below. <laughs> And that's it, guys. I'll let you go now. I hope you have a nice day, a nice week, and you enjoy whatever you're doing. And I will catch you the next time. Bye-bye.